Hi everyone, it's Corrine here and I'm so happy to bring you this free tutorial which I have entitled A Winter Night on Black Modeling Film. I have a piece of black modeling film 5x7. I've got some canned air. You can see I have my air compressor here as well. And I'm going to be using some brushes, a number zero and a number eight. And my alcohol inks, snow cap, blending solution. And to get started, I'm also going to put a little bit of alcohol in this cup just to prepare. I'm going to start by wetting my paper and adding a little bit of snow cap and a little bit of the purple twilight and just rock the paper back and forth to manipulate the ink. I'm just watching where it's going now. Add a little more snow cap. And so as I rock this back and forth, I'll continue to assess how much ink uh, is on the paper and how much uh, blending solution, if I need to add more or less to get that sky to move. I'm not going to worry about the edges of the paper. They're going to be covered by a mat, but I'll continue to add the inks and the blending solution and the snow cap and just rock the paper around until I get a pleasing effect. I'll use my air compressor to move the ink slightly. Next, I'm going to work on the foreground. And so I'm going to lay down some snow cap, some blending solution, and blow that down with my air compressor. I'm moving the blending solution through the middle of the painting and blowing it with the compressor to set forth where my pathway is going to be. I'm going to put some snow cap in my palette and use the number zero, which is a small round brush. And I'm just going to come in and dot some snow cap onto the pathway as if there's footprints in the snow. Now I'll continue to now build up the sides of the path, adding a little snow cap as if there are mounds of snow. Uh, along the edge of the walkways. I'm going to use a little heat dryer uh, just because I'm impatient to dry this off a little bit so that I can move forward. Next I'm going to come in and remove some of the ink that's on the background in order to make some trees and actually I'm finding it's easier to do that with this blending pen. So I'm just pulling through the ink that is there and creating evergreen tree shapes. Now that I've removed most of the white, I'm coming in with pitch black ink and just filling in these areas as if these trees are silhouetted against the sky.
You'll note that I'm adding a few more trees in as I go along. So I really want to create the sense that there's some depth to this painting. And by not putting the trees all on the same line, I create the sense that of that depth that I'm looking for. And now I'm going to create one larger tree that's near the beginning of our path. And this will push the whole painting back as well. Now that our trees are in, I'm going to take a little snow cap and again just kind of whiten that path because some of that snow cap has sunk in and add a little more uh, snow effect to the sides of the path. I'm also going to spread a little bit of snow cap around to create the sense that there's snow on top of these shadow areas. And we'll just fill that snow in just using the side of that brush with fairly thick snow cap, which I've left in my palette to evaporate some of the alcohol. Next, I'm gonna come back in with some purple twilight on my brush and just put it in between these footprints and outline the side of this path just to add some more shadows and give this path some depth. I'll use a little bit of alcohol on my brush to blend the purple twilight and the snow cap. Next I'll come in with a little bit of snow cap and let's just adjust and calm down that path a little bit. Again, we're looking to create that snowy effect in the middle, a little bit of depth so that the snow mounds on each side of the path stand up a little. The trees are gonna be snow laden, and so now I'm gonna go in with a small brush and a little bit of snow cap. Again, that's been fairly thick because it's sitting in my palette, and just add a little bit of snow effect to each of these trees. I'm careful not to cover all of the black from our trees because I do want that black outline to show underneath. So I'm adding the snow cap on essentially what would be the top of the branches. Next, I'll go back into my pitch black. My ink is a little bit thick at this point, and I'll just redefine here and there where those black branches are uh, in case I've lost any of the um, effect uh, that I wanted on these trees. So just a time to refine. And once I'm done with the black, I'm going to just dry this off a little bit with this little heat gun and come back in and adjust my snow cap here and there. I just want this tree, since it's the one in the uh, front of the painting, to have a little bit more detail than those in the back. Next, I'm going to come in with a little eggplant ink and I want to add some shadows around these trees and around some of this snow so I can make this snow actually look a bit more three-dimensional. So I'm adding the shadows underneath those white snow cap areas where there seem to already be shadows in the snow 
and just blending that in a little bit. And I'll continue to do this around the painting. And now I'll take a little bit of alcohol in my brush and just soften that out a little bit so that it looks like shadows but not hard lines. Next I'm going to come in with a little dental micro tool and some really thick, thickened white ink. And I'm just going to create some dots in these snow mounds to make, to give a little bit of texture, make it more realistic looking. And then I may come in with my brush as well and just add a hint of a shadow around the sides of the pathway and then come back in with that micro dental tool and just continue to add texture. And with the micro dental tool, I'll continue to add texture and dots of snow cap around the painting in the areas that are white, just to give it the sense that there's snow in and around the areas that I put in for shadows. I want it to look like the snow is mounding up in different areas and this tool will give me that ability to do that. And the final thing I'm going to do is get some fresh snow cap in my palette. And I'm going to use a toothbrush and want to continue to flick some of that snow cap across the scene as if there's still a gentle snowfall happening. So here's the finished painting. I hope you enjoyed it and can't wait to see what you create with snow cap on black modeling film. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and techniques with alcohol inks and mixed media, please follow me on my website at kareencarpinoart.com where you'll find blog posts with mini lessons and information about alcohol ink art. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Kareen Carpino Art. Visit my Pinterest boards not only to see my art, but for our Alcohol Ink resource board. And you can also find me in the Alcohol Ink community. Thanks again. Happy inking.